Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be going over some design work that I've been working on recently. I had this random idea, I don't know if any of you use the app Things for iOS and Mac and iPad, but it's probably one of my favorite apps. It's a pretty popular to-do app, um, I've used it for basically all my personal work and my work at Mothership. Um, it's a great way for me to keep track of my tasks and everything. Apple recently announced that they came out with widgets for iOS 14 and I've been using the public beta here for a couple of days and I wanted to give a shot at a widget idea that I had for things. So because this is an app that I use a lot, I think it would be really great to have this on my home screen and be able to see things without having to jump into my app and see things at a high level. So let's go ahead and look over the Figma file that I've been working with. So this Figma file will be available on my Patreon. If you guys are interested, feel free to go ahead and check out the tiers there. There's a tier for $5 that will get you access to the source file. It'll be a cleaned up, finished version of my files. So this is basically a how I hand off to developers. So if that interests you, feel free to check it out. There'll be a link in the description. So getting into this file, uh, I'll kind of go over a bit of my process. This was a very quick project that I made in just probably about an hour full time of, of work. My initial way to go about this was to look at the Things app on both Mac and iOS and grab some reference images so that I could get the styling correct. So I kind of just went with what I thought was the best example of style. Obviously I don't have their brand guidelines so I'm sure some of this is off and this is all just a concept so take anything here with a grain of salt. Um, hopefully they will make one when Apple supports third party widgets but for now this is kind of just my take on it. So I grabbed some screenshots of the app, um, kind of like the, your main view and then your sidebar that you can organize your projects in. Um, I even took like a screen grab of the settings and then I also went to look at Apple's iOS 14 preview um, because they have some good examples of the widgets being used in context here. So I wanted to make sure that I was kind of keeping with the same patterns that I see Apple using and try and keep to those guidelines as best as I can. So I grabbed some of those reference images and kind of got started with planning of how I'm going to do this. So I thought about what is the best way to get information on these widgets, but still have them contain to the sizing of each one. So with that concept, I started off with a small widget because I wanted to use the least amount of information here because obviously I have the least amount of space that I can use. So I thought, well, maybe if I just give an overview of kind of the top three things that me personally, I look at in things. So the top one for me is always today. Uh, that's everything that I'm working on for that day and kind of what I want to focus on for that day. And then there's the inbox, which is just items and tasks that I add randomly that I go through later. And then my upcoming tasks. So upcoming is like, what do I have coming up in the next few days that I've scheduled? So I think seeing these at a glance on a small widget is probably the best idea. I wasn't able to fit any tasks in here. It just felt like it would be a bit too cluttered, which Apple is not a fan of usually. I even included this action button here that would take you straight into making a new to-do because something that I noticed with a lot of the Apple stock apps is it basically just opens that view and that app for you. It doesn't take you to actually do an action. Um, so I, I'm not sure how the code would work for this. I don't know if they're allowing people to take them to a specific page um, or if it just opens the app immediately. But I thought if you could do that, at least bring them to a specific page, you could bring them right to making a new to-do. So right away, I'm able to make a new to-do really quickly from here. Then when I was working on the medium widget before I actually had this just showing um, the same information as the small widget, but instead it was on the bottom. So for the medium one, I had it just showing the same information, uh, but set up on the bottom. And what's really nice about Figma is I was actually able to set these into an auto layout and I can just set the spacing really quickly. So I can actually swap these between vertical and horizontal. So I could swap those between the medium and the small widget, which makes it super easy to work in, which is one of my favorite things about Figma. Looking here, it felt a little bit bare, like it still gave you a little bit of information, but I was wondering, how can I make this a little bit more useful? How can I surface some more information that can be updated here? So I thought maybe we can bring out the most important tasks that you would need. So like I said, to me at least as a user, the today tab is probably my most important. So I'm able to show these with the first one in your list 
actually coming up here. So you can see these by most important. So I can automatically see my top three things that I need to be focusing on right now, which is really nice when you're opening your app um, and not having to dive into the actual things UI. So here I can see that, I can see that there's 11 more. And in terms of the layout, I kind of lined these up with the today and the inbox icons kind of taking up that same grid. And then I used obviously the eight point grid between these. So I'm able to use eight between the title. And then since these are a bit more compact to show that they're grouped together, I use four on these. And then I have a secondary title here because the August one has a color with it. So showing the today's date. And then I can use this title as a secondary one and then a tertiary information because it doesn't have the bold. So here you kind of get a good overview. I feel like this is my favorite one. Um, you can see each of these in context here. I kind of mocked these up using some screenshots from my own iPhone. And then lastly, I worked on this large one. Uh, this one was a little bit more difficult for me. Most of the first party apps that I see Apple putting these larger widgets, it's literally just the medium widget, but with more information. So for example, like the news widget, you would just see maybe six articles instead of four. So I was kind of struggling with how can I make this more useful with the Things app. Since I was just working on the concept for this, I didn't want to spend too much time on it. But I thought, you know, going with that same pattern of let me bring out the most important thing, what is the second most important thing that I can put into this extra space? So at first I added the upcoming tasks. So you can see your today and your upcoming ones um, just because of date wise. You have like your date here, it shows that this is today. And I was thinking, well, from top to bottom, you may wanna see what's, what's upcoming in that timeline. So I thought that might be the best thing because your inbox isn't super important because your inbox is just kind of the ground where you just throw random ideas that you have and then you go through them later and actually schedule them out. So I didn't think it would make sense to do those as the second one. You could even swap these with the upcoming and inbox because later on I decided to actually use the upcoming as a secondary information. You know, if we wanted to, we could go ahead and swap these and I still think it would do the job. Um, my only point of contention there is that within things, the actual app, they actually do inbox and today as the top level information and then upcoming is tertiary. So I think it just kind of depends on what the team would want to do. Obviously I don't work at things, so I'm not sure what they would think would be the most important, but it's really easy to swap these out and try out some different stuff with Figma because I have the component here and then I have the instances of these components. So you'll see that as I update these, they update automatically within these mockups. So you can actually just arrow th these through, try it out, see how it looks in the mockup. But let's just keep upcoming as a second one here. So going back to the large one, once I had this upcoming information here, this is actually a part that I'm not 100% sure on. It feels a little bit awkward with this layout now, now that it's focused so much on this middle layout. So I was wondering how can I add some more information here to maybe balance this out. The thought that went through my head here was, if today is August 22nd, let's say that it's a Monday, and then the next week when the upcoming starts is let's say in a week in advance. So you could see, okay, starting next week on the 29th, this is what I have coming up. So that was kind of my thought process behind that. Um, I'm not sure if that would be the best use of my information here, but this was just my best guess based on that. And then also to go over some of the layout here, um, going back to eight point grid, that's always what we're using and what I'm trying to keep in mind when I'm working on these. Um, these widgets are actually have grids on them, which was provided by uh, Joey Banks. He, he works at Figma and made a iOS 14 kit that I will leave in the description if you guys are interested. But he left a grid here and I tried to follow that using the eight point grid. So you have 16 um, on the sides of these. Um, yeah, so this full, full one is 16. And then, uh, like I said, the spacing between these, trying to keep that as well. And then even with the action button. So this helps me keep my Figma file and widgets very organized. Like I'm not having to guess what spacing is between all of these. Um, so this is kind of how I work, uh, just kind of an overview of it. Like I said earlier, I'll be finishing up this file and putting it up on my Patreon if you're interested. Just wanted to give a sneak peek into an idea that I had and thought maybe this would be a cool thing that uh, things could probably do. I'm sure they would do it better. But yeah, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any specific questions or feedback on this video. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.